At these experiential conferences, and I'm sure at many others, I'm reminded of something you said at one time, and I'm quoting here, but with a little creativity, you can create some of these initiatives, ESIs, on your own. That strikes me as having been said by someone who has pursued the entrepreneurial spirit that allows utilizing information about how to DIY, do it yourself, or DIWF, do it with friends. Creative, indeed. Although I'm retired, I continue to look forward to receiving your adventure publication, so keep me at hand, please. Have a great conference, Michelle. And how about that trip to Galena? Yeah. Congratulations, Michelle. Thanks for being an inspiration and giving us all those tips. Thank you. Now, I, uh, I first learned of this Carl Ronke guy. Um, my very first job out of college was at a wilderness, uh, a wilderness organization for troubled kids. And we lived outside in tents, and they had a, a fabulous library of books for us to peruse through. And uh, one of the books was a Carl Ronke book. And at, out on the course, we actually had um, the activity, the islands activity, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, the three different platforms. You give the group two boards, and then they have to figure out how to get from point A to point B. And, uh, and I remember um, we had one group that came through the course that really wanted to work on their integrity. So I flipped through you know, my Carl Ronke book, and, and I find uh, you know, the islands activity, and we had that. So I thought, OK, how can I tweak and change this activity to really fit a group around integrity? And so at the time, um, at the time, now I got this prop that I found at, um, um, to, oh gosh, what is the name of that? Uh, anyway, I found this prop online that was a uh, tissue paper beach ball. Now if you think about the traditional beach ball, beach ball which is like the tradition, one of the traditional symbols of our field, right? The rubber chicken and the beach ball are like two of the, our, our symbols. But I found a, a tissue paper beach ball, which I thought was really intriguing. So I purchased them, Oriental Trading Company. I purchased them from there, and, um, and it was this, it came, they came flat, like a regular beach ball would, but it's tissue paper, so you had to be very careful that when you blew it up, you didn't blew it up, blow it up too much, because then it would, you know, it would tear the tissue paper. And so what I did was I, I, I handed this blown up tissue, tissue paper ball to this group, and I said, I need you to get from this platform to this platform, holding your group's integrity intact. Mm -hmm. And this, beach ball was so fragile that even the slightest mishandle of it affected the integrity of the ball, which that was representative of the integrity of that group. So, so anyway, so I did it, it worked wonderfully, and I, it, it became a favorite prop of mine that I used a lot with groups. And so, um, and back, this was back in the very early 90s, and, and so and back then, <laughs> Carl had his address in the back of the book. And so I actually wrote him a note, and I just said, hey, I know you don't know me, but I was inspired by your book, and, um, and I, I took that island activity that I saw in your book, and I used, so I explained how I used it, and I tucked one of those paper beach balls in the envelope and sent it to him. And, you know, not really expecting that this big famous author guy would ever write me back, but of course he did, and in true Carl fashion, the first line of his, or the first few lines of his little letter back to me was, where's the plug? <laughs> right? Because it had no plug. It was, it's just air. That it, so, so anyway, and that became a lifelong um, correspondence now. We write letters back and forth all the time. Still to this day, I presented with him at the AEE conference, uh, co-facilitated workshops with him. He's been a friend and mentor of mine for years, and I could not be more humbled or honored to receive the award of his namesake. It's, it's truly the only award I've ever wanted to receive in my career. So I thank you so much for being part of my journey, and, uh, and, and I, again, I'm humbled and honored. Thank you.